Ladies and gentlemen, is it possible to improve on perfection? Well, apparently it is because the 911 has been basically one of the best daily gyro sports cars since 1964, and Porsche just made it a whole lot better. Welcome to the Car 5 Podcast. I am your host, Joshua. Today, we're talking about the totally revamped Porsche 911. Let's go ahead and start right into it. So like I had said before, the 911 has been one of the best daily driver sports cars since its birth in 1964. It's comfortable, performs well, well, extremely well, actually. <laughs> it looks beyond fantastic. So what makes this new 911 so awesome? And how has Porsche, Porsche been perfecting the 911 since its first debut? Well, it comes down to several things, actually. In this uh, podcast, we're going to break this episode down to uh, three things in particular. We're going to talk about the new 911 safety, new 911 performance, and new 911 comfort. So starting off with safety, Porsche has introduced a brand new Porsche wet mode. will allow any uh, 911 driver and will aid them in several different driving circumstances. While it's driving on a wet surface, um, the driver will have a lot more control of the vehicle through optimizing traction and control systems within the car. So that way, you can still have that 911 driving experience, even if it's a little bit wet outside. Porsche have also added a warning brake assist system, which will assist any 911 driver in avoiding any form of accidents that may occur through an advanced braking system and pre-warning the driver of upcoming traffic or objects via notifications uh, on the screens of the car and sounds through the audio system. A night vision assist and thermal imaging camera for nighttime driving have been added to the 911 as well, which is going to be great if you want to take one of those beautiful nighttime drives. Not only are you going to have some fantastic LEDs at your disposal, you're going to have a full on night vision camera. And last but not least, in terms of safety, we're going to talk about adaptive cruise control, which has been added to the 911, which is going to be great. If you have a daily commute to work, which involves a freeway, or you decide to take a trip over the weekend, this adaptive cruise control is going to keep the driver in lane and in front of the vehicle. It will follow the vehicle in front of you if you just want to cruise on the fr- on the freeway. Car in front of you speeds up, you'll speed up. Car in front of you slows down, you'll slow down. Not uh, not some bad features being added to possibly one of the greatest daily drivable sports cars ever. Now, moving on to performance, this is a huge deal for the 911. And to be honest, it is to be expected. And uh, there's some pretty big shoes to fill. Porsche has made the engine even better. The same three liter flat stick resides over the rear axles, though due to a turbo revision and better fuel injector systems, the all new 911 is actually faster than it was before. In this this case, we're going to talk about the Carrera and the Carrera S. The base Carrera is going to be sitting around 385 horsepower, while the Carrera S is going to make between 420 and 450. Of course, both the 7-speed manual transmission and the absolutely epic 8-speed PDK transmission that we all know and love from Porsche will be available as well. If you happen to be a Porsche purist, of course, you're probably going to go with the manual. But hey, if you can't decide, just buy both. (laughs) I mean, why not? The top speed uh, and 0 to 60 for the new 911 is projected to be 190 and 191. If you have a Carrera, a Carrera S. And 3.2 and 3.3 seconds for 0 to 60. For being a daily driver sports car that's extremely comfortable and very easy to use, those numbers aren't half bad. Again, remember what we're talking about is we're talking about just the revamped 911, the base model 911. Of course, if you want more performance, you can look at the GT2 RS, GT3, GT3 RS, the Turbo, Turbo S, et cetera, and so forth. We're talking about a base model car for the 911 that goes 190, 91 miles per hour in 3.2 to 3.3 seconds, 0 to 60. Not bad. For comfort, several comfort features have been added to the all-new 911, which is going to be a swarm database online navigation, which will aid the Porsche driver's uh, current navigation system, more accurate, quicker, easier to use. Brand new 10.9-inch digital display screen for overall use, making information easier to see, use, and not to mention it looks pretty cool, you know, having a foot-logging screen in your car. And a brand new whole comfort seat concept has been implemented into the new 911. So basically... 
Porsche is taking one of the already greatest sports cars ever and making it more comfortable, safer, and faster. This is no joke. Um, I've had the pleasure of seeing one already. If you can check it out, of course, we're going to have a photo for you guys. And that's going to conclude uh, the very podcast that we have today about the revamp Porsche 911. Go ahead and give us a follow on Instagram, which is the Car5 Podcast. Like us on Facebook, the Car5 Podcast. For any questions you might have, um, have an episode recommendation for me or thinking I can improve on something, just go ahead and shoot me an email. Info at car5podcast.com. Be sure to tune in February 16th, where we will be talking about episode five in the Lamborghini SC18 Allison. Thank you so much for tuning in and drive safe.